Well, very interesting. Uh, I think it is so difficult to sum up. But I think the whole journey, almost uh, 60 years of journey, has been uh, for me very fulfilling. And fulfilling in uh, many aspects, like uh, uh, the entire journey with Ostaji uh, gave me the nourishment and the understanding of the Dhrupad genre uh, in its complete uh, form. So that was itself a very enriching experience for me. Uh, 15 years of Tallinn that I had with my Ustad. And then later, when I came to Banaras, but I carried on the legacy along with my academic studies. So, uh, in fact, that helped me in understanding uh, how uh, the Dhrupad Prayog uh, could be related in the academics into the Shastra, into understanding of the, the theoretical concepts. So it was um, like it helped me in balancing the theoretical and the practical aspects of Dhrupad or Indian music in a broader understanding of Indian music. So I think that was uh, the first step that uh, brought about some uh, development, self-development in my journey. The next is, was that it was very enriching for me in the sense of uh, the quality. I, I could uh, uh, delve deeper into the quality of the music and at the same time in understanding the quality of life because music is not separate from life. In fact, that is how he taught us that it is a life experience. When you're singing, it is experiencing life. So it also enriched my life in, in, in several ways. First in understanding uh, was a kind of fulfillment, then enriching myself was another kind of fulfillment. And lastly, all these years, I felt that I could uh, start to get a value understanding and value judgments that this is good, this is bad, this is right, this is wrong. Because this always uh, is quite perplexing in life. And, and you can create, a, find a balance between what is right and what is wrong. And so in understanding the, the value system, uh, and in several parameters, I mean, it's not just music, but through music, I could understand um, human behavior, you know, social um, interactions, and then cross-cultural understanding of Indian art and culture. All this I could relate with Dhrupad. So for me, Dhrupad was uh, a complete um, a mirror for me, and I think that uh, that makes Drupad also so special and uh, so deserving right, if it becomes part of your journey in life. I think uh, the whole story of Drupad is more re what is revealed inside. But I think you get the feedback from the external sources and they are uh, feedback from the different aspects of life and it gets gradually filtered and it gets into you and this is what the guru actually teaches you that you have to explore everything that is outside everything that's external everything that is extrinsic and then contemplate and jisko kehte na hindi mein chintan manan manthan now that is the process that will take you to uh, looking inside and once you start to look inside that is the dhyana aspect of the music so you develop this dhyana this meditation and in fact our upanishads also say dhyatva kuriyat do something by meditating not just by thinking. So you don't think and do, but you meditate and do, dhyatva, kuriyat. So this is the process of looking inside 
and then you evolve and the process of self-realization starts and that leads you to beauty and ultimate joy. To put it very simply, Brihat is actually entering into the zone of the unknown. So you go into the realm of the unknown, the unseen, and into limitlessness, something infinite. So that is uh, where the search begins also. So it is experiencing something for the first time. You can experience something again and again, but when you experience it for the first time, it is going into the realm of the unknown. That makes Brihat uh, so meaningful because it is a lifelong process of uh, self-development through understanding Brihat, in understanding how you can create infinite shades of life in this life. <laughs>